So <clears throat> the photography class, we would put that through our permit process. It depends. Are you collecting a fee? You say it's open to anybody. It's, it's online. Okay, that's fine. A lot of people are doing things virtually now because they're not able to meet up in groups. Totally understand that. Okay, also, but filming in general, like commercial photography and things like that, that does require a permit. People want to film for movies, videos. And did I tell you I was doing any of that? I don't know. You that's didn't. right. You don't know, but you want to issue me a, a, a citation for it. Susan, you have a dog off leash, which we're going to start with that. Okay, let's start with that. We're going to start with that one. And now I'm trying to investigate, just like you were about the gas cans, mm -hmm. as to what kind of filming you were doing and whether or not that falls in line. I just want to make sure you say that really loudly. You want to investigate what kind of filming I was doing. Is that right? If you needed a permit or not. If you you want to investigate if I need a permit to film. I just want I just want to make sure that everybody hears you say that. And in I need County to Parks, I'm going to need to get your name and your identification. I gave you my name and badge number. We're going to write this citation and we'll get back to you. If you have any questions, we'll answer them then. Deputy, you might want to talk to her before we waste any more public resources on the right to record in public. I'm here to keep the peace and I'm just trying to keep the peace. That's all I'm here for. I need some direction. Uh, Miss Bassey is here, and Miss Bassey is being Miss Bassey, and I caught her on camera turning on her camera slash video function on her iPad. I can't confirm she's not recording or not, but she is acting very Miss Bassey-like. Let me put words in my mouth. Okay, I'm not going to put okay. any words. You're going to say them right now. Okay. Do you have a mask with you? I do. It's, it's back at my backpack. Do you mind putting a mask on before I talk to you? I'd really appreciate it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to record this because I don't want there to be any question about what you said to me and what I said to you. What is your name? My name is Ranger Bramham. Okay. Santa Clara County Parks. Great. My please, name don't, is... please stay away from me, okay? Stay over there a little bit. Appreciate I am it. over six feet away from you. Okay, I just want to document that I was reporting to you that there was a fire hazard. In fact, I'm going to go show ma that. Ma'am, can you not keep walking away? Ma'am, you keep walking away. Can you stop doing so? Okay. I'm going to need all of your information. Okay, ma'am? Hi there. What's your name? Sergeant Pimelet. How are you? I'm great. What's your badge number? 107. Are you park ranger or sheriff? I'm a park ranger or sergeant for the park department. Okay, What's good. What's your name? My name's Susan Basti, and the Sheriff's Department knows me well. Oh, okay. So I currently have a number of retaliation complaints against the Sheriff, and in the county, I'm investigating the District Attorney, okay. and I have a civil rights complaint against the Sheriff's Department. Okay. Your name is Susan? Hang on. My name is Susan Basti. Okay. And I have a civil rights complaint against the Sheriff's Department, and I just tried to report at fire hazard because I noticed that the gasoline was open on the side, and this officer instead, a dog followed me up and he decided that he wasn't harassing me for my information instead of being concerned about that. So we're going to do this by the protocols or we're going to have another problem. Okay. So uh, what, what brought you here today? Great. So the parking lot is open to the public, right? Because we're trying to allow additional parking so that people have the opportunity to use this lot because often on the street it fills up. If you're a resident, you may realize that and it's, it's full. So you can park in this lot. A lot of people want to access the trail system. They want to, you know, be on the shoreline. They want to fish, what have you, yada, yada, yada. This area here is for the rowing club. So it's not open to the public. Um, if, you know, you're walking through. So walking I around. filmed at least 40 people walking through this area to get okay. down to the lake. So what we have here is you're in an area where you shouldn't be in. Okay. You're, say you're investigating open containers of... I got a report. I'm an investigative reporter. Hi, officer. What's your name? Hi there. I'm Deputy Lee. Deputy Lee, what's your badge number? I'm 2352. I'm sorry. I missed that? It is 2352, ma'am. 2352. And I disclosed to you that I currently have a civil rights complaint against the county, and it's about to involve the district attorney for selective prosecution and prior restraint on speech. Okay. And I was investigating a fire hazard that was reported to me. I walked up. I filmed it. And I saw your park ranger and I reported it to him and he decided instead he was more interested in my information 
and the dog that was running around me than the fire hazard. And what he also said was that he would love to follow up with you. And I said I don't need a follow up. Okay, I'm per that's fine. perfectly but fine. We're going to address a few different issues here. So you can address the fire hazard issue, which you seem to have already documented pretty well. Where are your dogs now, or dog? My dog is not here. I was taking care of somebody's dog, and they ran up to me while I was filming the, the event, slipped the leash. Okay. It was a mistake. Okay, where is the dog now? Is I don't place? know, because your deputy there was detaining me, and I don't know. And what I'm telling you is, it doesn't matter why I'm here. I was trying okay. to report a fire hazard okay. with open gas containers in the middle of a park okay. in the middle of fire season. That's and instead, I, I we would, wanted to I make this about my dog being off leash or whoever's dog being off okay. leash. And I'm telling you, would you like to see the, the containers? Uh, maybe in a second. Okay. Um, so so uh, suddenly, my information should not be the most important thing in your job. Okay. The information of open containers and vandalism at sure. this so-called private thing, which has no mark of being private. It okay. says open to the public. The gate right there is open. People have been coming in and out all day long. And you okay. didn't ask their name. You didn't ask anything else. And all so right. when I try to report something very dangerous, this has an appearance of retaliation. Okay. So we're going to follow the book right okay, now. That's Sir, I'm going to need fine. to get that in your records. Okay. Uh, so... Is that a personal phone or a park phone? We have a few different issues that I'd like to address. Okay, well, I need to know that with a picture he just took, if that was on a personal phone or a department issued phone. Can we hang on one yeah, quick on second? Sec. Here, let me, let me, okay, I'm going to try and keep my distance, you know, Great. with COVID and everything. I'm, Great. You know, I'm just trying to be uh, I appreciate it. compliant as possible with all the regulations and everything, guidelines. Um, so, look, the park rangers have told me that they want to issue you a citation. Okay, they're welcome to do that. Okay, and they're, what they're telling me is that you're not, you're not allowing yourself, oh, let me rephrase, you're not identifying yourself. You've given them your name, but you haven't given. I'm happy them to give else. them my, my my mailing address and everything else. Why I have to give them a driver's license for a walking situation is beyond me, and why they need my date of birth okay. is beyond me as well. All right. Well, I'm assuming I don't know what their citations look like. Does it list on there the date of birth? Is that I'm guessing. If she gave me an address uh, and I can match descriptors, I'd be more than happy to do that. You ready for that? Okay. No one asked me for and that. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. You want my mailing address? I just gave you all my information. Okay. She said she needed my address. I gave her my address. Okay. What else does she want? Uh, you my firstborn what? child. Date of birth, ma'am. You, you don't need my date of birth. She said she could get all that from my address, and I gave it, it to you. It would go much quicker if you could just give me that information. Well, she said she could get it. So. I would appreciate if you just complied and helped us out. I know. Okay. Would it Would it be okay if I asked you, ma'am? Uh, I'm just trying to get everybody out of here. I'm sure you don't want to be here with us here either. So, I'm just trying to help out. So, what would you like me to do? Well, you can you, put me in your database right now. I got a civil rights suit against you guys. Everybody in this county knows who I, I am. I'm going to be very honest. I have no idea who you are. Oh, I you're don't, gonna. I don't mean that in any sort of offensive way. Um, I'm not aware of any civil suits. I'm sure there's a lot of suits against us. I'm recording at 360. Ma'am, I'd appreciate if you don't walk around like us, like that, all right? I just want to record all the other people that are walking through here okay. that didn't get told all that right. this was all closed I ask to the is public. That you don't walk behind us. I heard okay? what you said. It's just an officer safety thing. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. There's all the people up there that just broke the law, but they're not going to come get them. Officer, this area is not marked private. Your badge number, I don't think. 2296. 2296? Yep. Thank you. Officer Lee, do I have your badge number? Yep, I gave it to you earlier. Give it to me again, please. How many times do you have to ask for a mail? Well, I'm old, I have a hard time remembering. What's that? I'm old, I have a hard time remembering, so All right. I want to make well, sure. Badge 2352. 
2352. Right. Thank you. Okay. I'm right here. Yes. Why don't you come back here? Oh, I have to stand. I have to stand right here. I've been very compliant with you. I've compliant? been very kind. How, what does that mean? Uh, I'm just, I, I'm just asking you if you could just kindly do us a favor, because we'd all like to get out of here, just like I'm sure you do. Okay. Did you know Ann Ravel's son was part of the Los Gatos rowing team? I'm sorry, who? Ann Ravel. I, you, I'm not sure who that is. You don't know who that is? No. She's former county council, so she was the one defending all the sheriff's deputies for years. Got it. Did you also know that I she was involved in a lawsuit about ghost children where the county's making millions and putting it I in have, a slush fund? I have no idea. Yeah, okay. Might want to know who you work for. Okay. You have anything else you need from me? If you don't mind, I was going to issue you the citation for having your dog off leash, and if you don't mind giving me a signature on here, it's I'm not, not signing it. Or anything. I'm not uh, signing just it. saying that you won't take care of the citation. I'm and not more signing it. To, you're more than welcome to contest it. I am going to contest it. And all the instructions are on the back. I appreciate but, uh, that. If you don't mind, I just need a quick signature. I'm not signing it. Uh, Ma'am, I just need a quick signature. You don't need a signature. I can take it without a signature. You've given it to me. It's been documented. It'll be up on YouTube. And it'll be in federal okay. court, so we don't need to worry about it. Okay. I, I just need a quick signature from you. You're not getting one. Okay. okay. The cops broke my hand, and okay. I can't sign it. Remember that? November 14, 2017, the Santa Clara County Sheriff's broke my hand, and it's my signing hand. So we're not gonna, is there any way maybe we can, how about fingerprints? Can we go with that? Would that work? You guys already have my fingerprints on file. Like I said, I don't know you. This is my first time speaking with you. That's fine. And I'm, I'm being so. I'm telling respectful. you, I don't have a signing hand because the officers broke it. So how would you like me to sign a ticket? Can you sign with your left, maybe? Why would I? That then it wouldn't be my signature, would it? It's still your signature. It's your hand writing on it. Uh, Why do I have to sign it? All right. Why do I have to sign it? Susan, um. It's not an admission of guilt, like my partner was trying to explain That's fine. to you. So just signing it is acknowledging that we talked today and that you got the They copy. have chest cams on, so okay. we've documented so, that I got it. For us, for policy and the procedure of that, we have to have the signature on, on the citation and then to, in order to process that correctly. Well, then you should have talked to them about not breaking my hand so that I could sign things. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about something that's happened in the past. I wasn't there for that. None of us were there for that. I'm sorry that your hand was broken. Um, you know, it just a signature would be great. If you have your hard copy ID, I can take Why? a look at it. What is the confirm. policy that requires me to sign that? Because I'm going to order that through public okay, records. Okay, that's fine. And you can you can do that. I don't have the number offhand. Um, it's part of it's our policy. So you're sure manual. it's there? You're I'm 100% positive. And what does it say if somebody won't sign it? You'll be taken before a magistrate if you don't sign a citation. So I'd really, we'd love to. And a magistrate you, meaning a we'd court love commission? to get you on your way. And, uh. You know, I'd love to take a look. Honestly, I really want to get to take a look at the hazardous um, materials that you were talking you about. You haven't seemed too big of a hurry so, to get to see about the well, hazardous we have a process materials. that we have to do. So this is the first step, and then we got to get to the next step. So we have your signature on this citation. We, we, we really need your signature. What does that the, mean? Take me ticket. before a magistrate. I don't think you want to go. You know. Are you threatening me to be arrested if I don't sign your ticket? I just no, want to make sure, ma'am, we're doing no this. There's no threat to arrest you. It's, it's part of the process. Okay, so if I refuse to sign a ticket for having my dog off leash or somebody's dog who you don't even know whose it is and who isn't even here, then 
I go, I get arrested and I'm going to clog up the courts during COVID when the jails are blocked with people dying from COVID. Is that right? And that's not a threat? So it would be easier to just sign the citation and then go through the process and we, it's clearly on the back. I can answer any questions you have on, on the back of that ticket to go through that process. You'll receive something in the mail. Like you're I going to do that anyway? Well, and you have to sign the ticket. Why? That's the, that's the process that we go through. I, I think I explained that. Yeah, so I have to sign it. You already have it to send it to me. Why do I have to no, sign it? No, I have it? to have, in order to process it, we have to have a signature on it. Oh, a signature, does it, it matter whose process. signature? Could I assign them to do it for me since no. they broke my hand? No, it's got to be you. Oh. So we're citing you today. So you break my hand so I can't sign a ticket, and then you tell me I got to go to jail if I don't sign the ticket. You seem to be holding up that uh, iPad pretty well. Yeah, I'm doing great because see my fingers tucked around it. That's good. Yep. You're able to adapt and overcome that. Yeah, I did over adapt, and you'll be on my YouTube channel too. That's good. Alrighty, so we need to get that signature on that uh, citation. Well, I don't want to touch his pen without it being Purell. Put it down on the sun and walk away from it. Yeah. Go ahead. I gotta have the ticket only to sign. The, only, Put it down. Book. There's a red box right there, about three quarters. Okay, could everybody down. back up? He wanted me 12 feet from him when I was near him, so everybody back up so I don't get COVID. I got okay, you guys win. I you got, got my signature on there, right? Got we got question. that all documented. I got another question for you, Susan. If, uh, if you have that hard copy ID on you, and I don't. you just take a look at it, okay, I don't. then we need thumbprint. That's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna go we're going to get the book real quick. That's great. Okay. Where's the thumbprint? We're gonna have to set that up for us, so just give us okay, a second. Okay, I'll let you set it up. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. you got this on your chest cams? Yeah. Great, you too? What's that? Your chest cam on? Everything's on, man. That's great. It's We're been gonna... on since I got out of the car. That's great. We're okay. gonna need this for federal court, baby. Sounds good. I'm not okay with you coming close to me during okay. COVID. So what I can do is I'll set this down. I'm just going to explain how to do it real quick. And if that's okay with you, I'll give you the instructions real quick. And You're I'll set doing it, down. it right here on my video. I can get it. I can okay. see you perfectly. Excellent. So on the back of here, if you'll notice, there's a left thumbprint and a right thumbprint. And on this copy as well, sorry, on this copy as well, I need you to do the same thing. So on two copies, okay, right there you have and that. also on the white copy as well. Well, hi! What's your name? Officer Morales. Hi! What's your badge number, Officer Morales? 2341. I'm sorry? 2341. 2341. And Officer Jor... How do you say that? Jordal. Jordal. What's your badge number? 1968. 1868? 19. 19. Thank you very much. Nice max, by the way. Thank you. Susan, thanks for your cooperation. I appreciate it. You guys gonna get to the fire hazard now? All you yeah, guys? We'd, love to. we'd like to. Great. We really would like to. Okay. Great. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna set, Just this set it down. Yep. Walk away from the ticket. Ready? Any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Why you want? We're concerned about a bunch of open gasoline containers. No, I'm happy walking behind you. Well, how about we do a middle one? We'll have a little in front and a little in back. I go first. Great, that's yeah, great. Okay. Let's go. I've already shown it to him. Okay, so he knows where it is then. I walked right up this path after somebody tipped me off. I recorded that. I then saw him. 
and I reported it. And he decided to spend an hour and a half issuing me a ticket for my dog instead. That looks secure. Well, at the immediate moment, until I can contact the uh, Los Gatos Rincos, that's about as good as I can do. Was there anything else out here that uh, was a miss? There's a bunch of stolen equipment dumped down at the lake. Stolen equipment? Barbells and other things. I don't know if those are stolen. Okay, well, maybe they're using it. Then they're using public and they're putting their private property there, which makes it fair game. Okay, and this area here, though, we have the, the Los Gatos Rincos it, it is not marked anywhere that this is closed to the public. Okay. You didn't have anything else, Susan? I think we're, uh, we're good. Great. Have a nice day. Thanks. You too. Which way are you heading out? I'm, I'm just walking in the park, ma'am. I got my ticket. Sorry? Uh, they're very concerned. I got a ticket. They're very concerned about uh, that dog instead of this shed problem. You just happened to be here five minutes after you gave me a ticket? We're not here to look for you. It has nothing to do with you. Okay, we're just going to be on our way. You we're understand here. how this might look? Yeah, we, yeah, we're we not understand, but we're not here for you. We're seriously looking for an address. Yeah. Tell me it again. What's going on? I think it might be that house there. I think there's that house and there's another connected one to it there's that's down below, it. down on the back. Thank you. That's, and I'm super sorry about this. I didn't meet you last time, but... Hey, you guys... That was nine police officers for an off-leash dog that they didn't even have a dog off-leash to write that ticket for. So you're all witnesses, your chest cams are coming, and we're all going to go to court. And if you think that's a great use of resources during COVID instead of responding to a 911 call, that's a little bit of a problem. Let's go.